Welcome to pathology. In pathology, what we study? See, path pathology is anything that is abnormal. Okay. So, there is something called as physiological. Physiological means normal. Pathological means abnormal. Pathology, anything abnormal, you can just say it's a pathology. Okay. So, we will study uh, under pathology these main sections. General pathology. In general pathology, an introduction to pathology. Injury of a cell, cell adaptation, aging of cell, immunopathology. Immunopathology, you will learn uh, what exactly in immunopathology, AIDS, etc. Hypersensitivity, sensitivity. Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, hypersensitivity will come in immunopathology. Then amyloidosis is the abnormal proteinaceous deposit. Proteinaceous deposit. Abnormal proteinaceous deposit, guys. Amyloidosis, all that you will learn. Then derangements of homeostasis and hemodynamics. There you will study about edema, thrombosis, embolism, air embolism, shock. Okay. Chronic venous congestion, all that. Then inflammation and healing, right? In this you have the acute inflammation, chronic inflammation, healing. How does healing happen? Right? Granuloma, modes of healing, angiogenesis. Okay, all that you will learn. Then let's go back and see infectious parasitic diseases. Infectious parasitic diseases, bacterial diseases, fungi, fungal diseases, amoebiasis, sexually transmitted diseases. Neoplasia, this is like very favorite nowadays, I think. So many types of neoplasm, really. What are the neoplasms? That means tumors. You have benign, malignant. What is the difference between benign and malignant? What is the molecular basis of cancer? Why cancer happens? Oncogenes, tumor markers. All these are very, very important questions, okay, in pathology. Neoplasia, especially like how much ever you read, so many types of tumors in every organ, in the entire system. Under general pathology, you have environmental and nutritional diseases. So here you will have obesity, marasmus, quarshiorker, rickets, osteomalacia, scurvy, a lot of things. All these are Environmental and nutritional diseases. Genetic and pediatric diseases, you have Down syndrome, Kleinefelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, Mendelian inheritance, you can understand how all of it happens. That's all. So in general pathology, this much is there. Moving on to the next section, hematology, lymphoreticular tissue. <clears throat> hematology and lymphoreticular tissue means everything to do with blood and lymph, correct? In that what pathologies can be there? Concerning blood, okay, hematopoietic disorders. Here you will have microcytic anemia, macrocytic anemia, megaloblastic anemia, aplastic anemia, pancytopenia, hemolytic anemia, then... Uh, Sickle cell anemia, so many, right? Thalassemia, wow. All the things that are pathological, means abnormal, you should be studying about them. Disorders of platelets, you have bleeding coagulation disorders. Then they have covered a whole thing on blood transfusion. Okay, blood donation, blood transfusion hazards. Then you have disorders of leukocyte. Here you will have leukemia also they will teach you. WBC, uh, leukocytosis, leukocytopenia, eosinophilia, basophilia, neutrophilia, leukemoid reaction. What is the difference between leukemoid reaction and leukemia you should know. Then in the hematopoietic and lymphoreticular system, leukemia, lymphoma, leukemia, 
plasma cell disorders, splenomegaly, multiple myeloma, Hodgkin lymphoma, Burkitt lymphoma, leukemia, you have myeloid and lymphoid leukemia, classification of leukemia. <coughs> Moving on. In systemic pathology, you will learn the pathologies of each system, okay? Like um, blood vessel and lymphatic pathology, like blood vessel, what pathology can be there? arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis. You know, there are tumors of blood vessel also. Tumors of blood vessels, hemangioma, all that will be there. Then heart. In heart, what and all you will study? See, for every system, they will put tumors, okay, neoplasms they will put. So, for heart, what you will see? Congenital heart diseases, ischemic heart diseases, hypertensive heart diseases, core pulmonary core pulmonale, rheumatic fever caused by the streptococcus bacteria. Then you have the non-rheumatic non endocarditis, valvular disease deformities, valves of the heart, you know, no? For those, there will be diseases and deformities. Respiratory system, what and all you can think of pathologically? You can think of uh, pediatric lung disease, pulmonary vascular disease, pulmonary infection, COPD, that is a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema comes here. Then you have the CRPD. CRPD is chronic restrictive pulmonary disease. Here you have the poliomyelitis comes here. Wow. Chest wall disorder. Something like this. Then you have the pneumoconiasis, which is a Pneumoconiasis is basically the occupational lung disease, right? Tumors of lung, obviously, for every system, they will include the tumors. Similarly, for every system, you will have like eye, ENT, neck, oral cavity pathology, salivary glands pathology, GIT pathology. In GIT, you will have what? Barrett's esophagus. Helicobacter, helicobacter pylori, H. pylori infections. Then you have Merkel's diverticulum, Crohn's disease, ulcerative lesions of intestine, ulcerative colitis, intestinal tuberculosis, tumors of large intestine. So many, right? Liver, biliary tract, and the exocrine pancreas. Pancreas, what and all issues can be there here? Here you will have issues like jaundice, hepatitis, liver abscess, cirrhosis of liver, alcoholic liver disease, portal hypertension, Wilson's disease, colithiasis, that is gallstones, right? Stones in gallbladder. What else, guys, that you think you will learn? Pancreas, you will learn pancreatitis, extra. Moving on, the next system, kidney. Kidney and all, what uh, pathology you can have? Nephritic syndrome, nephrotic syndrome, pyelonephritis, renal cachlea, that is stones in the kidney, tumors of kidney, Urinary blad tu bladder tumors, wilm tumor, all these. In male reproductive system, prostate, you will have testicles, right? Cryptorchidism, seminoma, that is testicular tumor. Penis, pre-malignant lesions, again tumors there. Prostate, benign enlargement, hyperplasia. Female genital tract, cervical Neoplasia, endo, endometriosis, so many ovarian tumors, ectopic pregnancy, anything that is a pathology, correct? So many tumors are there here, trophoblastic tumor, dysgerminoma, choriocarcinoma, 
all these then of course the breast and its pathology skin and its pathologies pathologies of the endocrine system that is all of the hormone producing systems musculoskeletal pathologies soft tissue tumors nervous system <coughs> nervous system pathologies diagnosis etc okay so these were the chapters in systemic pathology now let us go back and see what other things are there see we finished general pathology hematology systemic pathology then you have clinical pathology in clinical pathology mainly tests okay urine test kidney function test or renal function test liver function test how do you what do you check in the cerebro spinal fluid semen analysis blood analysis bone marrow analysis etc so those are the four main sections of pathology so if you are going to study pathology this is what you have to expect lot of diagrams you will have to explain the gross of everything and the microscopy of everything just remember pathology means gross and microscopy so if i give you a liver you should tell me in gross what is wrong with it and if i give you the microscopy that is a slight layer of the tissue look at it and tell me if it is liver i tell you what exactly is wrong in that histology you would have seen the normal in your histology so you have to say the histopathology now and histopathology is so important that it is the gold standard for diagnosis of tumors okay so looking under the microscope and seeing the cancer is very important so pathology plays a very important role in diagnosis fine welcome to pathology guys i hope you enjoy pathology